Trading University. I'd like to thank you all for being here and taking the opportunity in your busy day. So, well, listen, it's lunchtime. It's a slow time of the time to actually go out there and educate yourself. And we're going to talk about some of the great things that are going on. But uh, today's um, presentation, we're going to talk a lot about psychology. Okay. Now, um, psychology, I think it's probably will relate to everyone in trading. And I kind of call it deer in the headlights. And uh, we're going to cover some of the the greatest gifts of going out there and learning how to understand how to play the game because I think this this is actually one of the hardest things to teach. And I think any presenter uh, will, will could always go out there and tell you how great they are, how much money they made. They could tell you about their style. They could have people coming in there. But to kind of train somebody how to psychologically be profitable and be prepared – mentally and physically is a very, very big accomplishment, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, before we get started, guys, um, anybody here um, could just give me a chat back and just let me know um, how many times have you guys um, have visited Cyber Trading University? Is this your first time listening into an event? Is it your fifth time, your second time, your, your, your zero time, several times, Hubert? Okay. Call it your first time. Good, good, good. Second time, second time, first. Okay, good. We got a lot of first timers here. Mike Sage, Mike, how you doing? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, lots of times. We'll go with students are here. Look, that's good to see. All year, Gardenia, good to see you too. Student, good, good, good to see you. Leah, good to see you. Good, good, good. All right. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk for about an hour, and uh, we've got about forty-eight slides to go through, and they're going to um, be very detailed. So listen, I'm going to try to answer as many questions as you might have, and then uh, in the meantime, if um, I'll try to get to those questions, and if we're running out of time, we'll try to save them towards the end. All right. But before we uh, we get started, ladies and gentlemen, just want to tell you once again a little quick little intro about Cyber Trading University. Don't want to bore you with this, but just want you to understand that I am you. Okay. Listen, I'm a human. I tell everybody this. I'm a human, um, just like you. I started over 20 years ago, and um, I start at the age of 22. And I was semi-retired at the age of 24, okay? And you know that's crazy that you think like a 24-year-old, is that even possible? I mean, I thought it only happens when you hit lotto. No, it, it's true. And the reason why is that trading is a part-time job. It's not a full-time job. And my mentor has always taught me and says, hey, Fausto, most of your time is going to be spent on education, okay? Just like you going to school, all right? Um, once you become your own boss, you can come and go whenever you want. You can work hard. You can not work as hard. But trading is not a full-time job. We only trade about an hour in the morning and a half hour going into the close. That's it. So when it comes to trading, ladies and gentlemen, you got to be really careful when you don't look at it as you're going to be here all day, you're going to sit at a screen all day. Most of your time is going to be spent, just like you see the students, my students here today, were spent more on education, okay? And that's where you, you need to focus your time. Now, um, the way I got into education, just to kind of let you know, because people always ask me, and this is a great question to ask. People always ask me and they say, you know, Fausto, um, if you're such a great trader, why do you teach, you know? And I tell people, I said, listen, you know, the, uh, that is a great question, but the reason why I got into education is a lot of people kept bashing trading. They keep telling people, you're going to lose all your money. Um, you're going to go out there and you're going to fail miserably. Um, a lot of people go out there and they saw me at, at a young age, see me driving a, a Porsche 911 and want to know how is it even possible for a kid that old? Who'd you bought it? Your father? Or are you some rich kid? I'm like, no, I bought it myself. I had my own, my own boat. I had my own country club pass. I had everything. I made it all from trading. And I would meet people that just were losing miserably, miserably. And they wanted, they asked me to teach them how to trade. And I said, you know what? I got some time. You know, let me go out there and teach you. And that's how I got into the education business. Uh, but I do both. Okay, I want you to understand that. A lot of my students here know I run a trading room and a teaching room. So please keep that in mind. It, it goes both ways. Um, you always want to have a mentor that could teach you and also trade with you. Now, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you um, and get into the, you know, the nuts and bolts of trading and how it works. All right. 
there are a lot of you here today. There's over, over 100 people that are listening right now. <clears throat> now, my goal is this. I don't think I'm going to be able to convince every single one of you, but I know I can convince a lot of you, okay? And my goal today is I want all of you guys to listen to me carefully, and when you're done at this presentation, I want you guys to come and join me in my live trading um, for three days, okay? I want you to see what it's like because I cannot teach you how to trade in an hour. All I could do right now for the next hour is I can – show you the professionalism, the experience, and the fear that if you don't have me or someone else teach you, you have about an 80% chance of surviving and trading and losing one of the greatest jobs in the world. So, and, and I'm going to tell you step by step why people fail. Now, I'm not going to be negative, okay, as much people might think, but I might be a little negative in a way of this. I hate seeing you guys lose money. I really do. It stinks. It really does. And it's not necessary. You know why people lose money? Because they're ignorant. And I don't want any of you here to walk away leaving today's presentation knowing that you're going to be, that you're going to be self-taught and you think you're going to learn how to trade and become a brain surgeon watching YouTube and reading books. It's just not going to happen. Okay? Now, why do people lose money? 50% of you or the world will fail in the market right now because you open an account with the wrong brokerage firm. You have to understand something. You're competing against the best traders in the world. How do you think you're going to beat them, okay, dealing with a Scott trade? Okay, you know, I don't like to name names and, 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 and talk and bash companies, but when Fidelity gives you 200 free tickets, Okay, and free trades. How do they make money? I mean, think about this. I always ask everybody this great question. How do you guys make money? How do, how do broker firms make money? How do they make money giving you free tickets? Everybody's like, oh, I got free tickets. They're, that's great. That's awesome. You know, my dad always taught me and says, son, the only thing is free is the cheese in the mousetrap. Nobody works for free. Do you work for free? You know, I mean, nobody works for free. I wish I had time for free. I mean, today's economy and today's, today's world, I mean, I don't even have time to, 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 you know, to go to the bathroom. You know, could you imagine, you know, taking a lot of time out of my way to, to donate it? And I would love to in certain things. But at the end of the day, the, the, the biggest partner that you guys have is not your spouse and is not your children. The most important and, and the most valuable and most important partner you will have till the day you're born and the day you die is going to be the U.S. government. Okay, why? Because they'll constantly tax you when you're born, and even when you die, they'll tax you. So they don't work for free. So you got to make money, unfortunately. <laughs> now let's go out there and do that. Uh, by the way, thanks a lot, Mike Sage. Over 65 years old last year, I had a better instructor than Fausto. Once again, Mike Sage, um, you know, a professor from Caltech University. Thank you very much, Mike, for that great endorsement. I appreciate it. Um, now, let's go and talk about the, um, about the trading room. What instruments do you use in your trading room? Well, George, we didn't get to that point yet, okay? M what I'm just trying to want to get to is this. First, let's talk about the psychology part of it. All right, and the psychology part of trading is that most people psychologically veer towards free stuff. Okay, so if you're if you're here for something free, and you want something for free, and you want free training, you want free tickets, let me. I'm just going to do you a favor. Just log out of the room and go back to your day job. I think. You know, some of these politicians are even actually preaching $15 an hour um, jobs, you know, working at fast food places. You know what? Maybe that's what you have to look for. We're not in the $15 an hour job, okay? We're in a six to seven figure salary job. That's why you're doing this. But you're not going to get there to get a six and seven figure salary job by getting free stuff. So free tickets, I'm just telling you right now, out of, out of the business. So let me, let me explain to you in detail, ladies and gentlemen, how these brokerage firms make money on your order, all right? So I'm going to get my pointer over here. Hopefully, you guys can see my little dot room right here, okay? Now, online brokers, this is how they make money. 
They take your order, okay? Yes is being recorded, uh, get, um, yes. Hughes, it's being recorded. Okay, so basically, they take your order, and then they're gonna email, and you're gonna email them. What they're gonna do is they're going to um, sell it to another brokerage firm called Payment for Order Flow. By the way, does anybody know what the word Payment for Order Flow is? Anyone, you, anyone doing that? Payment for Order Flow. Anybody know what that means? Give me a yes or no. Payment for Order Flow. Okay, Jeff knows. Okay, good, few of you know. A lot of you, look, a lot of knows. All right, so Jeff is, is right, okay, and obviously he's a student of mine. I want you guys to call your brokerage firm up. This is what I want you to do. You want, you want to get really disgusted and ticked off at your brokerage firm, okay, and realize they've been ripping you off and been giving you delay quotes. Call them up and ask them, can you explain to me what does payment for order flow means? And I'm going to tell you exactly what that means. They're taking your order and they're selling it to another brokerage firm and getting paid for it. Like, do you really think they make money on free tickets? They're making hundreds of dollars selling your order to somebody else. Is that what you want to do business with? Okay, because, and then if they don't, then it goes to their market makers, their traders. From an order routing system, they're going to go check if they have stock and inventory. Have any of you guys ever heard of dark pools? Ever heard of a dark pool before? Carlos is the only one, a few of you. Pretty nasty stuff. You guys should read up on it. Basically, what they're doing is they're buying stock within their own inventory and selling you their stuff so they don't get, to get stuck selling it out in the street. So they save themselves money. Well, call them up and ask them, do you market payment for order flow? Do you, do you practice, I'm sorry, do you practice payment for order flow and do you practice dark pooling? Asked on that, okay? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to explain to you that you're dealing with a brokerage firm that's trading against you. You have to understand something. Trading is an 80% failure rate. Why would they go out there and execute the order when they'll just take the bet? They're acting as casinos. Why not? I mean, that's what they're doing, basically. They're like, oh, you want to buy it? No problem. I could tell you this. They don't like opening an account with me. Um, I am not part of it. I'm the last person they want to deal with and, and our students, okay? But that's how they make their money. Now, if they can't make this money within their brokerage firms and it goes to their trading desk, now unfortunately they have to work, they buy it on the bid, they tack on the commission, your order gets executed. Uh, can you write down those two things? Yeah, write them down. Payment for order flow and dark pools. Ask if your brokerage firm practices those two things. Okay, and most of them do. All right, now all any brokerage firm that is categorized as online brokers, that's what they do. All right, now here at CyberTrade University, what we teach you is that they're not really bad people. I mean, they're good if you're like an investor, you know, um, a, a long-term swing trader. But if you're an active trader and or you're doing this as a career, or you want to start trading your own IRA and you, or your RSP, or you know, um, you're sick and tired of dealing with mutual funds, and you want to just, you know, you're on Social Security, or you're an engineer, and you know, you just want to like, because you, you're good with numbers, you need to have the right tools. And, you know, you can't be a good race car driver if you're going to be racing in, in, in a Hyundai. You know, it's just not going to happen. You know, I mean, listen, but you got to have you got to have a direct access broker. Um, now, regarding about futures, I don't trade futures. I only trade specifically stocks. But what I would do, OK, is call the brokerage firm and ask them, are they direct access or are they online? Payment order flow, uh, payment order flow and dark pools. There you go. Thank you very much. All right. So, any questions about that? Any questions about the brokerage firm that I could answer? So, just keep in mind, half of the people fail by opening up with the wrong brokerage account. Actually, when we teach our students, we discourage them to open up a brokerage account. That's like buying a car and, and not learning how to drive first. So, that's the least of your problems right now. Okay? Been there, done that, Carlos. Well, you know, once again, it's... 
it's it really stinks. It really does, right? But that's why I guess a lot of people here, and, and, and I just don't like people finding out the hard way. Okay, so now let's move on to the next thing. Now we know about brokerage firms. Now let's talk about the psychology and the money management. Now I think a lot of people don't are in denial. They don't want to take the time to learn money management. Um, but this applies for futures, options, forex. You know, here at CyberTrade University, what we do when we teach our students, we teach them how to journal themselves. All right. And not only do we teach them how to journal themselves, but we spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on technology here, um, which a lot of our competitors will, could never say. Um, you know, we have a, a staff of almost 20 people that work at CyberTrain University. Um, so I just want you to understand we're not, you know, working out of our garage or anything like that. I mean, we have, you know, a lot of you have been here at CyberTrain University at our, staff, our office. But we, we, we put a lot of money in our technology and our staff to teach our students to give you the technology to help you with money management, okay? So when it comes to money management, you know, um, you, got, you have to have the right tools. You got to be able to know why you're making money, why you're losing money. Um, we build trading journals on our website, so you can you can post them up there, and it will track your trades, and and you could go back and analyze them. It's part of your education. I mean, let me ask you this question. And guys, be honest, okay? Nobody's gonna, you know, no one's gonna rat you out or or tell your spouse. But how many of you guys are actually, you know, managing your trades at the end of the day? Like, do you analyze your trades? You know, know why you lost money, know why you made money. Any of you guys doing that? Anybody here journaling yourselves on every day of your trades? Well, obviously, there's a lot of you are my students. The, listen, there are over 100 of you here, and, and already only five people answered that question. So, Christopher, I assume you a no. Eric, a no. Eli, a no. Hamir, um, George, I'll, get, I'll take no's from you guys, I'll be honest. It's okay. I mean, nobody's going to, like I said, nobody's going to rat you out. No one's going to, you know, get you in trouble. That's why you're here. One of the biggest things when we do coaching at Cyber Training University, the way we coach our students is we look at their journals. We have to analyze their trades because trading is a very small window when we make most of our money. But if you're not, if you, if you're not aggressive and if you're a deer in the headlights, you're never going to do well. Listen, it's a very simple way of explaining it. Anyone here have credit cards? Anybody here own a house or run a business? You can't go out there and just keep spend, spend, spend if you don't take, take, take. You know, there's what's called checks and balances, right? You know, you can't go out there and make, you know, if you're making $100,000 a year, you can't go out there and spend a quarter of a million. You know, I mean, I hate to say this, but like I'm doing a lot of training right now for NFL players. And, uh, you know, it's pretty sad, but 76% of them file bankruptcy. I'm like, how is that possible? You, 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 make, um, you make two, three, five million dollars a year. You're doing it for several years and, and you're bankrupt? You blew it all? You know, well... A lot of it, it goes with anything. It goes, and it's not with just them. It goes for everybody. We've all been there. We've done that. Um, people hit lotto. 80% of them file bankruptcy. How in the hell does somebody hit lotto and file bankruptcy? It's called poor money management. So I, a lot of the trading has to do with, with not just the psychology part of it, but the trading aspect of it. Okay, so if you're not journaling yourself, you, you're, you, right away you're making a very big mistake. Okay, so here at Cyber Trading University, just kind of let you know this is one of the things that we teach you when it moves on when it comes to trading. So if you're not journaling yourself, you better start doing it or talk to our education advisors that tell you a little bit about of how we offer you a free product on how you can use our trading journals because we do get, offer it for free. Um, so what is basically day trading, swing trading, investing. So let, let me get a little chat back. Um, what are you guys are doing? Are you day trading? Are you swing trading? Are you investing? What are you guys doing? What kind of trading is everybody doing? Swing trading, okay. Swing, swing, day trading. 30-minute trading, that's day trading. <laughs> 
scalping, okay, that's in and out, you know, really quick. All right, so just kind of let you guys know the difference. All right, let me just try to kind of educate you guys a little bit. Day trading is that you're in and out the same day. You don't hold overnight positions, okay? Swing trading is you're holding an overnight position or a longer period of time. Investing is when you start holding things for a few months, a few years down the road. Now, swing trading is probably the most risky out of them all um, when it comes to swing trading. Day trading is not as risky as people think. You're just in and out the same day. Uh, you make very, you know, you make you know, 50 cents, a dollar on a trade, you'll make you $500,000, whatever it is. Um, but you do make more in swing trading, but you have to risk more. You just got to be able to have, you know, you just got to realize that anything could happen overnight. So you can kind of lose it all. You got to be careful. So I'm very, very dangerous. Um, when we teach you at Cyber Trade University, we first teach you how to day trade so you understand what happens over the course of the day. I mean, you see what's happening in the market today. It's up 276 points. So you got to know what happens over the course of the day because it will trickle down into a swing trade and an investment. All right? So that's basically goes. By the way, any options traders out here? Any options traders? Because I always tell people this. If you, if you have to learn how to trade stocks before you become an options trader because the movement of the stock that makes an option move. And it's a lot more risky and a lot more dangerous to trade options. Okay, so, and let me tell you, if you can't make money trading stocks, you're never going to make money made trading options. All right, so, everybody knows that? Good. Good, good. All right, um, all right so let's talk about, you know, playing the game. All right, now that we, we covered brokerage firms, now we covered, you know, um, you know, money management. Now let's talk about playing the game. Now, everybody wants to play this game. Let me tell you something. This is the greatest game in the world. I tell everybody that. It's, you know, it's fun. Uh, it's, it's not that challenging. You deal with it every day. But most people just don't know how to play the game, you know. And a lot has to do with the discipline part of it. You don't realize that, you know, that when it comes to trading, you're not supposed to get upset. You're not supposed to, you know, lose your temper, lose your cool, because you do that, you'll, you'll end up trying to get even, okay? Traders are focused at all times. We, we're focused on the trade. We, we, we've, you, you know, here at Cyber Trade University, which I'm going to invite all of you guys, um, we'll go out there and we'll trade the market, but you got to surround yourself with a team. And, you know, you can only be focused so much without getting distracted, so, you know, being a good trader, I've learned you've got to surround yourself with a great team, and that's what helps you keep you, keeping, you be, uh, keeping you from being focused. Now, at Cyber Trading University, we also teach you how to paper trade. Paper trade means, you know, you're, you're, you're doing demo trades. You're getting in and out of trades. Because let me tell you something. If you're not making money on demo mode, there's no way you're going to make money trading real money. All right? I mean, as long as you treat it the same way. But a lot of the brokerage firms that we deal with, and here at Cybertrain University, we're a brokerage firm neutral. We don't work for any brokerage firm. We're not a brokerage firm. We don't care about brokerage firms. Um, but they do want you to be educated. And not only do they want you to be educated, but we know a lot of brokerage firms that would even pay you to get educated. How, how great is that? Could you imagine getting paid to get, um, I mean, having a brokerage firm pay for your education. You know why they do that? Because they know that if you're educated at Cyber Trading University, you will be a client for them forever. Most, broke, most traders, I don't know if you guys have ever done your statistics, but I think they say most people who get into this business blow up their accounts within 30 to 60 days. So if you have a $10,000, $50,000 account, most people lose it within six months, you know, or conservatively six months, but let's say between 30 to 60 days, you know, because they just don't know how to play the game. They think they just buy, sell. They think it's like, you know, it's play money, you know, but, um, but brokerage firms want to keep you for, the, for, for forever, and they do that. So we'll tell you a little bit about that at the end of the presentation. But the thing is, you got to learn how to pay per trade first. If you don't know how to pay per trade, you're going to make big mistakes there. Starting out, 
Okay, so at Cybertree University, um, the first thing we do when we teach our students is if you, once you make money on demo mode, then you need to go out there and you got to learn how to make money with 100 shares. You got to small start with small lots, um, and we monitor our students, you know, on their on their um, their their. Uh, uh, you know how, how they're doing on their hundred shares. So until you see that you're really consistent, then you start going to 200 shares, 500 shares, 1,000 shares. Because let me tell you something: every time you trade more shares, um, you make more money, but you but you're risking more. And you got to learn not to be a be a deer in the headlights. You know that's a mistake that people make. And another thing um, that I find that people make mistakes that they don't learn is they're not disciplined enough to trade. You know, to learn how to trade, um, you have to do at least a minimum five trades a day. They actually say, and we've done some t statistics on our end, that you have to do a minimum of a thousand trades before you even start learning how to trade. Could you imagine a thousand trades? I think the first thing people come to mind, they're like, wow, that's a lot of money in ticket charges. What... I mean, if you pay $5 a ticket, you pay spend $5,000 on tickets, you think that's a lot of money? I used to pay $20 a ticket, and I used to do 100 trades a day, okay? You know, the thing is this. You're looking to do this for the rest of your life. You have to trade. If you don't trade, you're never going to learn, you know? It's part, you know, it's like playing, it's like uh, why people go to batting practice, you think they just go up and show up a bat and practice and hit the ball and you become a great athlete? Trading is a lot of fun, but you got to be prepared for it and you got to have the right attitude for it. That's right. Track record is everything. Because the faster you make those mistakes, the faster you're going to learn. Anyone here um, have the Stocks and Commodities magazine? There was a, a big article, a six-page article that was written up on me um, in, 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 uh, and he did an interview, and one of my biggest slogans that I teach everybody is that losing money is a good thing. It is. It really is a good thing because if you know why you lost, you're not going to do it again. Failure is what makes success, and the thing is this. If you don't know why you lost money, you're going to keep doing it over and over and over again, just like this car. We know it's not a good, it's, we know it's not a good deal. But people, for some reason, don't know how to read and know, know what the difference is. And that's why people continue to fail. You've got to analyze your trades, the journals, you know, after the market closes. You've got to keep a close eye on that. Um, or, you know, what you could do is you can call, talk to an education advisor, and they'll tell you a little bit more about what, uh, what things we can, what you can get and what we offer, um, as in slideshows, the recordings, and everything you need. Okay? Now, follow those rules to succeed. Um, listen, there are rules when it comes to trading, just like you have rules in your own house. Um, you know, just like you have rules running your own business. You, know when these, you, need, you need to know exactly what those rules are. If you're not following those rules of the standard rules, it's going to be very difficult to succeed. Most importantly, you have to be able to have a mentor. That's going to follow you and help you and coach you through it. Because 80, and by the way, I don't know if you guys know this. Anybody here um, read, um, use charts? You know, 80% of the people that read charts read them backwards. I, I just don't, people are like, what are you kidding me, Faust? I spent thousands of hours and thousands of dollars on charting. It's true. It's true. A lot of you read them backwards, and I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a few minutes. I'll give you, an, okay, and here's one of them. All right. Um, here's a, a morning mover. Anyone ever heard of the stock called VTUS? Anybody ever hear of it, VTUS? No one heard about VTUS? Holy cow, I'm shocked. Actually, I'm not, because <laughs> I never heard of it either. But, um, but it was a pretty nice mover in the morning. Um, if you look right here, the stock went from 270 um, in less than 30 minutes, all the way to 320. Now, you do the math. 270 minus 320, well, it's actually a little bit higher than that, 325. So you're talking about literally a 50-cent move. 50 cents 
times a thousand shares, which is only a $2,500 investment, $2,700 investment. $500 you make on that trade in 30 minutes. Where do you make 500 bucks? If I could tell you you can make $500 in 30 minutes, would you do it? I mean, it's trading the market. If I'm going to say, listen, this stock you're going to make fifty, you're going to make five hundred dollars in it. Do you care what the company does? Because at the end of the day, you're not going to be in it long enough to care what the what the company even files bankruptcy, whatever it may be. Trading is done short term, and, and it's not just those. There are expensive stocks. They all do the same. GTLS, a thirty-two dollar stock, in less than what? 45 minutes, it goes from 32 to 37. $5 move, I don't know, I'll take that. On 1,000 shares, it's $5,000. You had to risk a little bit more, yet the other one you only had to risk 2,500. This one you have to risk 32,000. But look what happens after 10 o'clock. It really didn't do anything, kind of flatline. I mean, you could have made money, but it's kind of flat. Would you rather trade, think about it, would you rather trade from, from, 10.15 to 11.40, say 12 o'clock, 10 to 12, let's just say, and trade in a trading range for, for literally almost an hour, almost two hours, I apologize, two hours in a trading range of almost $2, or would you rather trade for 15 minutes and make $4? I mean, it's almost like common sense. I'm like, Faust, are you really asking me that question? Yeah. I mean, think about it. You make $4,000 to work 30 minutes versus 2000 to work two hours. doesn't really sound like a good deal. So money's money, don't get me wrong, but you see, most trading is done within the first hour of the morning and the last hour of the close. So, timing during the day, very, very critical. It's not a full-time job, it's a part-time job. You make your day's pay and you go from there. By the way, um, have any of you guys ever seen pre-market trading? Anybody ever see pre-market trading? Jim, you been there? Mick? Good, good, good. It's kind of crazy. Um, how does it go? How does it go up and down? Well, well, how do they go down? Which we're going to talk about right now. Uh, right now, we're going to talk about that. Uh, well, it's only risky. It's only risky if no one ever taught you how to to, to trade it. Okay, so if you guys want to learn how to do it, I'm gonna, well, you know, I'm going to give you the opportunity to uh, go out there and and, and learn. I'm going to talk a little bit about it at the end of the presentation. Um, but question: How do stocks go up and go down? Everybody, could everyone answer this question? How do stocks go up and go down? Supply and demand, very good, okay? So what is supply and demand? Basically, just following the money. That's it, follow the money. All right, so how do we follow the money? There are, one of the most important things that I was trained was the difference between level two and level three, all right? Now, let me explain to you the difference. Level two, um, you know, you get to see all the buyers, you can see all the sellers, okay, and this, this is the market maker, and this is the price, and this is the amount of shares, okay? But in level three, which is here, you're seeing all the buyers and all the, actually, all the orders. You get the same exact data, but you're getting 20 times more volume. So you're getting to see all the orders, which you're not seeing in level two. Like, for example, Look at this example right here, okay? The stock goes up, it goes down. Stock goes up, stock goes down, okay? Now, why did the stock go down? Can anybody answer that question? Why would a stock go down? No, it's not the same thing as time and sales, Carlos. Totally, totally different. That's right. There was no buyers. There's more sellers, right? Does everybody agree that? By the way, do you see sellers on a chart? Do you see sellers on a chart? 
So how do you know it's going to go down if you can't see the sellers? How, how, do, you see, how do you know it's really going down? Price drops? You want, to be a, you want to be a lagger or you want to be a leader, Glenn? I mean, think about it. You don't want to go out there and let a chart tell you it's going to go down because if you're a minute delay chart, it's going to be a minute later. If it's five minutes, you're five minutes behind. You're an hour, an hour behind. That's not how you trade the market, okay? But I can tell you this. The reason why it came down is because there was a 10,000 share seller out there, right? That's the reason why. Not a 100 share seller, but a 10,000. Well, right now we're trading at 11, uh, 16, 10. Okay, so what do you think the stock's going to do now? We got support levels here, support levels here. So what do you think the stock's going to do? Is it going to go up or down? Glenn, and you know what? That's why 80% of the people fail. Because you don't have level three. You know, and we're going to change that today. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna change you. Matrix also has it, yes. Now, looking at this chart, do you think the stock's going to go up or go down? Well, every time it hit here, it went up, right? Up. So, I would assume it's going to go up, right? Well, to go up, you need buyers. Well, we had the seller here at 1620, which is here. But I don't see a 10,000 share buyer. If you have no buyers out there, guys, what's the stock going to do? Go up or go down? With no buyers. It's going to go down. And you know how much further down it might go? It might go all the way down. Hell, it might go all the way down to 1570. I mean, I don't see any buyers. I don't see any 10,000 share buyers out here. You got to understand something. The stock traded 2 million shares. You're not the only one trading it. So think about it. Here you are trading a stock. Now you know there's no buyers out there. How many of you guys have ever been in a position and were caught in a position? The thing keeps tanking and tanking and tanking, and it keeps going down and down, and you're like, when is this ever going to stop? Um, when is it going to pretty much go down? Okay? So that basically where you have to come to looking at a chart. Um, let me see what's happening. Uh, how do you say, I'm sorry for interrupting. Um, I just asked my broker just a minute ago about payment for order flow. We offer CFDs and FX Pro has adopted the model, but intense before the positions. Trades are a hedged example. I have no idea what that means. You know what you have to tell them? Look at the back of your account statements and tell them to explain to you, first of all, is it a Forex brokerage firm or is it a, or is it a brokerage or a stock brokerage firm? And, you know, you have to kind of ask them, then what, what exactly does, you know, what does CDFs mean and how does that model work? How does a position trade? Do you have direct access? Can you see your orders being posted out there with the other market makers? And if it's not, you're dealing with an online broker, and they're routing your order and making a profit from it. That's where you have to look at it. So if you don't see your orders out there, you're trading blind. Okay? If you could see them, if you post an order out there, and you see an order getting posted, and you see your name posted, then good. Then you're fine. Okay? Um, now. Getting over here, continuing with a stock. Look at this example. So the stock is going down. Well, how do you know it's going to go up? Well, these are the buyers. These are the sellers. So if it's going down, we need to see where the big buyers are. And if you look right here, at $29, you got 135 thousand shares looking to be bought. So 135,000 shares being different, uh, out there to bought versus 800, 2,000. So with that amount of shares, I would probably say that's a demand, right? And look what happened here. Once it hit $29, the stock went down and went right back up. Because if that 135,000 share buyer is not getting executed, there's only one other place to go, right on the offer. How many of you here see 
those 135,000 share buyers and sellers. Any of you here see those? Carlos, C-Signal does have a great product. One person, we're at, we're at 100. We have, we're over 100 and, you know, over 100 people here. One person, two people, three people, we're still short about 108 people, 106 people. George, ask um, you got ask Thinkorswim. Great company, but they I'm telling you they don't offer it. Great free platform, but they don't offer it. Okay. Well, that's fine. I mean, listen, you can still get it. It's a great company. I still can get it. Let me ask you this. Do you guys, you have $37 in your pocket, George? If I was to tell you where you can get it, would you spend 37 bucks right now? All right, so this is the beauty about it. This is, if you want to really learn, not only if you register, this is what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to stop for a second, and I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to, I'm going to make an offer for all you guys. If you want to see real time and learn to see exactly what I'm talking about, if you register right now for $37, what we do is for three days, we'll come, you come in our trading room, we'll show you what it looks like in real market hours, everything, okay? So for $37, if you register now, I will give you an additional two days so you have five days in the trading room from 8 o'clock, 8.30 in the morning to 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and you'll see this live. And not only that, you'll see students that are making not hundreds, but thousands of dollars a day using this technology. And once again, you can get it, and we'll show you where to get it, how to find it. So click on that link right now. If you got $37 in your pocket, um, you know, try it out. Already been there? Okay, good. Well, Carlos, if you want to come and join us again, if the you know, and do it again. But the thing is this. For five days, if anyone here that didn't try it, come and test it out and see what it's, and what it's about. Um, so I'll give everybody a second to register for that. Now, Doug Kyer says the best $37 you ever spent. Well, thanks a lot, Doug. I appreciate that. And the thing is this. Remember what I told you. There's nothing free in this world, okay? And I can't teach you how to trade within, within an hour. You got to see it live in the market. So if you want to see some live trading, you want to see what it's like to get that live level three quotes, see those big iceberg orders, what we call them, come and join us, okay? Now, anybody here know what tape reading is? Anybody know what tape reading is? Anybody done it or heard about it? A few of you have? Okay, good. All right, so I'm a tape reader. And what I teach my students how to do is to monitor time in sales, okay? Because the next thing people look at is like, you know, you're looking at these orders and you might be like, well, how fast though? How do you know they're real? How do you know if they got executed? How do you know if they don't cancel it? Well, time in sales is what we teach us how to do that. So we'll look at the orders, and we'll see if the orders are going, if they're going off on the bid, which is what it shows here, or if they're going off on the offer, which is green. Because most people will go out there and will use a chart to kind of give them a sense of direction. And I don't know if you guys know this, but time in sales is what controls the chart. So if you could read the time in sales, what we teach you what to do, you're just going to be one, he one step ahead of everybody else. Because when you see a lot of greens, you see people buy, 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 I mean, a chart doesn't need to tell you that. You can figure it out just by reading the time in sales. And you'll be amazed how many people don't use the right tools that we trade on. You know? So, I mean, it's, it's, it's not that hard, ladies and gentlemen, how to play the game. You know what the hardest thing to teach? Which is what today's class was about. The psychology part of it. Now, finding stocks... Finding them not really that hard to do either. What we do is we work off the percentage gainers and losers. Now here, what you're going to get with this trial, guys, is that if you come to my trial, we're going to show you how to scan the market. All right? Uh, we're going to show you how to go out there and um, place orders out there, finding which ones are moving. Like, for example, did anybody do any trades today? 
Anybody trade today? We had a couple of nice winners today. I don't know if you guys um, did any trades today, but um, what do we trade today? Hey, who, who's a student? Who here traded in the trading room? HTZ was one of them, right? We did pretty well on that one, right? The CLDX, that did pretty good. Went from 710 to about 770. HZHP, that one went from, you know, that was good for like a 50, 60 cent move, right? CLDX, right? That was pretty good. All of them, they're all pretty good trades. VRX, what about that one? Doug, the EXEL, Sun, right? F GoPro, right? Anybody here thought about, consider even trading some of these stocks? I, I don't trade the S&P 500. Why, can I ask you a question? Why would I want to compete against the best traders in the world to trade the S&P 500? There are 25,000 stocks out there you could trade. Why do you want to trade something that everybody else is trading? And deal with the best traders on Wall Street. Are you here to trade the S&P 500? Because, ooh, I trade the S&P 500. You know, you know the, the, to me, to anyone who trades the S&P 500, it's an ego. You know, I don't, why, why, you know, I could risk less money, deal with less experienced traders, and make a hell of a lot more money, 10, 20 times more, trading stocks like VRX and FCX and, and Shore. I mean, uh, you know, I think they have more volatility. Uh, let me tell you something. You better join and come and see my, my join me in my trading room right now, because you basically have no idea what volatility is. And vol you need volatility. I agree with you. But there's a lot more. And you know what? If you register right now, I will personally guarantee your money back. If you're not happy in five days, I'll give you money back. All right? Does that sound fair? Thirty-seven dollars. Basically, that's what lunch costs here in New York. So I'm going to take your lunch money. Um, try it. And if you're not happy for 30, in five days to get your money back, you want to see volatility, it will blow your mind. All right. So anyway, we find stocks to trade. We'll go out there. I'll teach you some head fakes. You'll see exactly how people will go out there and, and place bids off or out there. And so you'll get to see what, what, what we do all day long because most people don't know who you're competing against. You don't know like what Goldman Sachs is doing. You don't know what Merrill Lynch is doing. You don't know how they'll hide orders behind other brokerage firms or other exchanges. You know, here at Cybertree University, we're going to teach you how to play that game. We're going to show you how they, you know, how they do something called refreshing. These are things that we, we do at Cybertree University. But if you don't surround yourself and knowing how to play the game, you're going to make one of the biggest mistakes in the world. And this is what we're going to talk about right now is one of the biggest mistakes in the world. Everybody thinks they've got to learn how to read charts, right? Everybody. Bollinger Bands, MACD, Stochastics, Moving Averages. How many times have you thought you've, you felt like this kid? You know, everybody wants to be an analyst. You know what I call this? Technical analysis, paralysis. Just follow the money. Keep things simple. You know, why are you going to make things more complicated than what it really is? Trading is not that hard. Actually, it's something we preach is the KISS method. Keep it simple. Super simple. Look for the big block orders. See if you have the high frequency trades there, which is what we teach. See, and, and just make your days pay. And be happy. Don't be miserable. Don't be angry. Don't be, don't be greedy. Learn and, and, and learn from the right people. And this is what I want all you guys to do. Any of you ever been, any of you uh, part of a professional trading room? Any of you here actually are trading with traders, mentors, you know, in a trading room? Okay, because let me tell you something. You're only as good as the people you surround yourself with. So this is what I'm offering all of you guys. Come and join our pro trading room. Do a trial. Come there for five days and watch and see not Fausto Puglisi make money. See how Fausto's trained his students to be successful like himself. 
Look at the stocks that you, that you should be trading versus the ones you're not making money on. Because I don't know if you guys realize the potential income. Do you know if you make like 50 cents a day, 20 trading days, it's about $100,000 a year? 50 lousy, stinking cents. 50 cents. You know 20 cents? If you make 20 cents a day, you're talking a $50,000 a year salary? People are dying to make $50,000 a year. What do you need to go to work for? You could do it from the luxury of your home, your own pajamas. But you know why people fail? Because nobody wants to take the time to spend a little money to learn how to do it right. Every single one of you need to learn from a mentor. All right? And, and it's another thing. I, and it's, let this stick in your head. You're not going to learn from one. You might have to learn from two or three. And believe me, there's a lot of companies I would even recommend you to go to different schools that are going to teach you how to trade. You know, but you need to learn a little bit from everyone. Great traders never stop learning. So how do you start learning today, ladies and gentlemen? This is what I'm offering. For three days, if you register online for $37, okay, three days, if you call in right now, we'll throw in an extra two days in the trading room. Okay, and you could start it whenever you want. You could start it now. You could start on Monday. You could start it anyway, any way you want. Um, account with them to save it, and it don't accept people from Belgium. Um, well, the best thing to do is um, call our office. Um, I, I, I built a beautiful company here at Cyber Training University. We have a great staff. We employ almost 20 people here. Talk to one of our education advisors. And uh, they'll tell you a little bit more about how you, that would help you in, um, with your, um, being in Belgium. Um, Mike Stage, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And, you know, from, and the thing you guys have to understand something. I have a passion to teach people. And the thing is this. Y you know, y that's how you thrive. You know, you got to have a good mentor. And, you know, you got to learn from people like that. Um, a couple of people I want to thank really quick. Um, Lace. Uh, Lance, I'm sorry, just um, signed up. Thank you very much, Lance. Welcome aboard. Look forward to seeing you in the trading room. Uh, who else we have here? Armando, thank you very much. Look forward to seeing it. Uh, Charles Hill from uh, Texas, uh, just registered for the trial. Thank you very much. Remember, Charles, when you register, um, call. The, make sure you talk to the, the education advisors that so give you the extra two days. And um, let the, they're going to explain to you a little bit about some of the benefits you're going to get. Some work, We have some online courses you're going to get with the trial, and let them know when you want to start it, okay? Uh, any, now, we have a couple of questions coming across here. Now, now by the way, you know, about Belgium, no matter where you are in the country, I, listen, I've been to China, I've been to France, I've been to Canada. Don't worry about a brokerage firm account right now. That's the least of your problem. We're going to get you one. And not even one, you'll have several from choose from. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Because trading is not for everybody, okay? So don't worry about opening a brokerage account. Learn if it's for you first, and then, then, you, then we'll find the brokerage firm. You can't put the, uh, the carriage before the horse. Any other questions? Yeah, listen, TradeStation, great company, but the thing is this, and we do a lot of education for them, but what's the sense opening an account with TradeStation if you don't even know how, to, how the system works and makes a mistake, you know? That's the way you have to look at it. Any other questions, ladies and gentlemen, that I can answer? Um, do you have a trading software? No, uh, George, absolutely not. We're not in the software business. We're not going to sell you a software. We're going to teach you how to trade. And the software that we're going to train you on, you could use it with any brokerage firm or any software company. We do, we, we, we do education with, with uh, eSignal. I do a lot of speakings, great platform. A lot of brokerage firms have good platforms. Um, you know, so we'll educate you from one window at a time because a lot of them could be very confusing. Any other questions? Mike uh, from California, thank you very much just for registering. Um, Howard and Jerry, one from uh, Jerry from California, thanks for registering. Look forward to see. Remember, Jerry, remember when you register, uh, make sure you talk. Like I said before, talk to your education advisor. Make sure you check and find out when you could start. Okay. There no, there is no Victor. There's no order renewal. Absolutely not. We don't believe in that. Uh, 
we feel that if you want to move forward cyber training adversity, you let us know. If you want to move forward with us, I know a lot of companies try to scam you into like renewals and this. We're not in that business. Listen, if you, if, this, if, you, if you don't want to do business with us, we don't want to do business with you. We respect your business. We want to learn you. But you let us know if you want to move forward with us. All right, well, Victor, look forward to seeing you in there. And like I just told everybody else, Victor, talk to an education advisor at CyberTree University and let them know when you want to access your five-day trial. By the way, I will be away um, Thursday and Friday. I don't know if any of you guys are going to be in Orlando, but I'm going to be at the Orlando Money Show. Um, I got um, three. I got a book signing and two presentations I'm doing there. So if any of you guys are going to be there, it um, be a great opportunity to meet, uh, meet me face-to-face. I just came back from the New York Traders Expo, and now I'm off to, um, off to Orlando. Uh, it's well, it's all live. All, all the trial that you're going to do is all live in the market, live trading, live everything. Okay. No problem. Any other questions? Oh, not the Florida show. <laughs> Well, the trading room is virtual, not the show itself. You're more than welcome, Ori. Thank you very much for coming. Any other questions? Bob just registered. Bob from New York. Bob, thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you in the trading room. Uh, Ron, that's, uh, that's not really necessary. Um, that's, the, 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 everyone's a case-by-case -case basis, Ron. Um, so if you want to find out more about the uh, about that, talk to an education advisor and explain a little bit more. But that's not really necessarily true for everyone. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, listen, thank you very much for being here. I appreciate you for coming. And I uh, look forward to seeing you in the trading room. Hopefully everybody enjoyed the presentation. And once again, always remember, to be successful in trading, you have to learn before you could earn. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate it. And look forward to seeing you all in the trading room. Cyber Trading University, the world leader in education for traders and investors, has over 15 years of experience teaching students how to make the most of their portfolios in volatile markets. Cyber Trading University gives members the best educational opportunity to become a successful trader. Cyber Trading University offers many benefits, class content, webinars, instructors, live class interaction, customer support, customer loyalty, security, and many more. Cyber Trading University prides itself on working with the best brokerage firms and software companies in the business to offer free demos and platform tutorials. This gives our students the ability to fully leverage their trading tools in their daily market routines perfect time to trade these volatile markets and learn Wall Street secrets. Register today at www.cybertradinguniversity.com or call 877-70-CYBER to speak with an educational advisor and sign up for a free introductory course in stocks, forex, options, technical analysis, swing trading, and much more.